Hello everybody, I'm Luna 2024 Today we're going to be doing a browser comparison, or otherwise known as a browser wars. We're going to be comparing Google Chrome, uh, Firefox, and Internet Explorer. So I'm running Google Chrome 6.0, and that's right there. We have Firefox 3.6 right here, and we have Internet Explorer 3, or Internet Explorer 8 right here. So we're going to um, launch, uh, let's see, we're going to start with, let's start with Internet Explorer. So we're going to click it and see how quick it launches. So we're going to do that. That only took a couple seconds. It is connecting to the home page, and that was definitely a lot faster than I'm used to for the Internet Explorer, and it's not that bad. So we're going to X out of that. And we're going to let Mozilla load. So we're going to go ahead and click it in 3, 2, 1. We're going to let that load. Do, do, do. I think that took a little bit longer than. And then Explorer did, but it loaded up the homepage a lot quicker. So overall, it was quicker, but the startup bringing up the main thing did take longer. So next, we're going to start with Google Chrome. So we're just going to go down here and click the Google Chrome icon, see how long that takes. And you, as you can see, that only took about one and a half seconds. Very quick, and it loaded up the homepage pretty quickly, too. So um, as you can see, Google Chrome definitely takes the, um, the load up, or the startup uh, part of the the part of the competition, uh, then it would be Internet Explorer and Mozilla would take last on that. So we're going to open up all three. So we're going to do a couple speed comparisons. So I'm going to start with Internet Explorer. We're going to load up ESPN.com. So we're going to hit enter right now. And it's loading. I think it's done. Yeah, that definitely loaded up pretty quick, only a couple seconds. I'd say about three or four seconds, but now we're gonna load on Mozilla. See how quick that loads. Do, 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 do. Do, do, do. Um, around the same, maybe half a second or a second longer. Um, now we're going to do it on Google Chrome. And I think that was probably the quickest. So ESPN, or the reason you don't see the um, that thing in the middle that came up before is because I have ad blocker, so I don't get any ads. Um, but as you can see, it definitely loaded up quicker out of all of them. It's the quickest. So Google Chrome is going to take first in the ESPN.com uh, comparison. And I would say about Internet Explorer and Mozilla are going to tie with that. So next we're going to compare what they look like. So as you can see, Google Chrome is very nice and finished very nice and it's simple and it's just elegant and it looks great. You have different themes and stuff like that um, so you can change what this looks like on the top and you know all that stuff. You can download a bunch of extensions which we'll talk about in a little bit um, but it just looks very nice and simple and it's all compact like you have your tools and stuff like that is all right here um, and your tabs are up here so you open another tab, another tab, all your tabs are very uh, easily ac accessible right on top. And you have your uh, buttons right here, they look very nice and they're small and they're easily accessible. And I like that because it's so simple and it doesn't have all of the you know, attachments and stuff like that at the very top, you're able to see more of the page. So as you can see, let's go to the very top of the page. So I'm viewing and you can see like down here you can see half of the... um. You can see Hunt for the October, and that's pretty much it. On here, you can't even see that far down. You can't even see past this first ad. And on here, it's pretty much the same thing. So that's what I like that about Google Chrome, that you have more viewing room. So we're going to move on to Mozilla. Uh, as you can see, it also looks very nice. Um, you have your you know, like your tabs here, and they, they work well. And things like that. You have your, all of your other stuff up here. You do have um, you do have personas and stuff like that for Firefox, which you can change your theme. I have not done that yet. Um, so, but the the back button looks very nice. I like the way that this is set up right here. The um, the uh, toolbar and stuff like that. You have your basic little array of buttons up here, which is kind of generic and stuff. Um, your Google search and your uh, bookmarks right here, and you have uh, your tabs as I said before. It looks kind of generic and it's a little bit bulky for my taste. So I'm going to have to uh, say that I don't 
enjoy the way this looks very much, uh, and I definitely prefer Google Chrome over Mozilla. So next, you're going to go to Internet Explorer, because you can see it's pretty. It's I think it's better than Mozilla, uh, just compared to Mozilla though, not to Google Chrome. But you can see that it's just different, and the tabs the tabs work. Um, the tabs work like as you would expect. You hit new tab. It takes a second to load though, which is a little annoying. But um, but it does work, and you have your basic array of um, your basic array of bookmarks and stuff like that. And you have your toolbar up here, which you can get rid of, I think. Uh, but sh and I like, but I do like that the you know the URL bar in the Google search is at the top. It just gives it a new kind of look, and it's not the same old generic look, you know, where this is on top then the URL, and then your bookmarks, and then your tabs. It's just not exactly what you're used to seeing like this. It does throw you off a little bit because it's it's a little different. But um, it's definitely not as good as Google Chrome. So uh, so look-wise, you know, just the, the layout and all that, I'm going to have to get Google Chrome number one again. So next we're going to check out the features and see what's going on with that. So with your features with Google Chrome, some of the unique stuff you're going to get, is you're going to get the extensions, which um, you can go into tools and you can look at your extensions. So these are extensions that I have uh, installed for Google Chrome. I have AdBlock, I have Auto HD for YouTube, so it automatically goes to HD when I watch a YouTube video. Instead of having to, cho to change it to HD, I have Chrome Gestures. So that's definitely one of the great features that you can have all these extensions and there are a bunch of them and you can just improve your browsing experience and be able to surf the web as just as you wanted to and uh, just have all these great things that you're able to do and definitely have the option and that's a very nice thing to be able to have. Let's go and check out what the other features of Google Chrome would be. Another great thing is you open your tabs you have your most visited sites right here and that's it. You can go to YouTube you know, you can go to you know, Yahoo, your Twitter. And another great feature which I'm going to show you right now is see if I go to Hulu.com so I just brought up Hulu and said I accidentally, you know, was, I was switching tabs and stuff like that. And by the way, you can, you know, drag your tabs out, which is very nice. I enjoy that feature. You can drag your tabs out, it makes its own there, you can drag it back. You can switch them around and stuff. Um, but say I accidentally got out of this Hulu, uh, this Hulu tab and I didn't it by accident. I didn't mean to. I just actually accidentally did that if instead of clicking on it, was, which is what I was going to do. So all I have to do is click add tab. And I can look at my recently closed tabs. So I can click on it and I'm exactly where I was before before I X out of the tab by X. One more thing I like to mention is that you can sync all of your bookmarks through with Google Chrome. So all you have to do is sign in with your account and no matter what your computer you're on, you always have the same bookmarks. And if I'm signed in on two computers on Google Chrome, if I add a bookmark to this computer, it will be on that other computer because I'm in the same account. So all of your syncing is done right through Google Chrome with your books mark with your bookmarks. So it's another great thing about Google Chrome. So we'll close that. So we're gonna go into uh, Mozilla. So you can see it right here. Open a new tab to see what that looks like. Uh, it just gives you an untitled, and that's pretty much it. You can bring up your personas for Firefox. Um, that's pretty much all you can do. <clears throat> Otherwise, as a feature, you know you can go into the gallery and choose what persona you want. Say I wanted uh, as, as you move your mouse over, it shows what your browser would look like. Say I wanted this to be my uh, my persona for Firefox, and now it is set for as my persona. So now it is my theme, and it's very nice. That's pretty much the only feature, which is a downside. That this is pretty much one of the only things that you could do with Firefox. It's kind of sad because the browser is pretty nice, and the speed isn't the greatest. No, but it's it's a, it's a pretty basic browser, and some people like it. It's definitely improvement over Internet Explorer, which nobody likes anymore. Just because it is getting so bulky and it has bloatware and stuff like that. But they've improved it a little bit and it's getting a little bit faster. So it's becoming a competitor with Firefox and with the new Internet Explorer 9 coming out. There should be some more improvements and a greater, uh, a greater competition for Firefox. We're going to compare Internet Explorer next. Um, so with the features you're going to get about zero. We're going to go ahead and look at a new tab. See it takes a couple of seconds to come up which is kind of annoying. You can reopen closed tabs like you can with Google Chrome. Um, so that's a nice thing. You can open your last session, you know, if I close that by accident, let's say. See if that'll work. 
and you can see my recent close tab is right there. So that's, that's a pretty nice thing, and I'm kind of happy that they have that too, at least someone else does. You got your basic stuff built into it though, which is kind of nice, but kind of annoying if you don't use it. You have a pop-pop blocker right here, you have a smart screen filter, you have, you have um, some add-ons, which is kind of, kind of like extensions, but not really. In, in the category features, Google Chrome is going to be the winner, as most of us expected. So in all of these, uh, in all of these categories, Google Chrome has been the winner. And I think the reason of that is because Google is just such a big company and they have all this money and they know what the people want because people go to Google and Google is a household name and they're trusted. And they're just able to imp imply all of the things that people want. And, you know, if somebody wants this, they usually just add it or they allow other people to add it. Um, so it's it's definitely a very nice browser and it's getting faster and faster every time we see a new release and it's just a great great overall I'd give it a 10 out of 10 browser Mozilla I would give um, I would give about a I don't know I'd give it about a six just because the speed of slowing down used to be a lot faster it's not as much anymore I definitely always choose it over Internet Explorer I never use Internet Explorer because I just always had very bad experiences with it, and it's slow. Um, even though it's kind of competing with Mozilla now, it has always been kind of slow, and it always had security issues, you know, with passwords and stuff like that. So I always choose Firefox as uh, my second browser if I need it, and I rank it second because it is just more user friendly. I think, um, even though it has some bulk and it has some speed issues sometimes. Hopefully, they update it and just give it all the um, the stuff that people need. So that is going to be second. It's going to be ranked. Uh, it's going to be my second favorite browser, and is going to be given um, a rank of about six. It's going to be my ranking of it, and my rating of it is what I was looking for. And Internet Explorer, it's going to be my third ranking browser, my third favorite, I guess you could say, even though it's not really one of my favorites. Um, and it's going to be rated. I'm going to give it about a five and a half just because it's not that bad of a browser but it's I definitely don't trust it it's just not something that I like so I'm gonna get out of it I'm going to get out of Firefox because Google Chrome is the winner and again just so you can see how quick it is I'm going to load YouTube real quick and you can see how fast that came up and we'll load CNN.com you can see that's up in three seconds so it's just very quick. Definitely go download it. Go google.com slash chrome. I'll have a link in the description. Definitely go download Google Chrome. It is a very fast browser and you will all love it and it will not disappoint you. And it's one of the fastest things that I've seen in the way of surfing the web. And it always, I've compared them, you know, loading HD and YouTube. This was always the one that I was able to load HD, you know, fully. And I was able to actually click on a video and it would load HD while I was watching it and it wouldn't stop at all. All the other browsers, it would make me, you know, stop and wait because it hadn't loaded enough because it was HD. But this was always the one that I've trusted because of the Google brand name and all that kind of stuff. But it always has just been, you know, as it says, fast startup, fast loading, fast search. And that's all you need. You can even type your search right in to the browser, right into the URL, you know, to type games. And what happens, search Google in a second for games. So go check it out, Google Chrome. I'll have a link in the description. So once again, guys, I am Gleaner2024. If you enjoyed, subscribe. I have more tech videos coming out after these, you know, vlogs, uh, maybe. Um, so I definitely have more stuff coming out, pranks and stuff. Uh, subscribe if you want to be notified when that stuff is going on. And I'll be here and leave a comment and let me know what you guys want to see in my future videos. What, thing, what stuff do you think I should review? What are your opinions on the browsers? Which one do you use? Which one do you think is faster? Um... So definitely leave me a comment, video response, let me know what you guys think is faster as well. So you can either leave a comment or a video response and letting me know what you guys think and what videos you guys want to see. Uh, so again, I'm Gloomer2024. If you want to follow me on Twitter, you can definitely do that, twitter.com slash